morning, we're going to ask Brother Goldston if he would open us up in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank and praise you for your son that you've given us, Father, that takes care of everything that we need. Father, we thank and praise you that we decrease this day that you may increase in our lives. Father, let us be the chaplains, not just on the job, not just at home, but out there in the community. Let us lead and guide those to the kingdom of God, Father, everyone that come across our path. Because, Father, we have an assignment. Our assignment is to build the kingdom of God. And so we do that right now, Father. I pray over my brothers and sisters on the call and those that are not on, that are not on the call. I pray for all our bosses on the jobs, Father. I pray for their families. I pray for our president and all government officials and all those in leadership positions. Father, I lift up our pastors, our bishops, our health ministry, all those, Father, that serve among us on the battlefield, Father. I thank and praise you right now as I give you and you alone all the honor, glory, and the praise. Praying for our president, our vice president, our staff, and, this, and our e-board. I pray for all our, pre all our presidents of our locals, all our, chair all our chairmen, all our uh, committee men and, and stewardess yes. and all those that serve this great union. And Father, we never fail to give you all the honor, glory, and the praise for it in the authority of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And with that, I ask for a volunteer to read Article 41. I got it. Yes, you This do. shall be the duty of each member. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Uh, That's help. okay. That's Sorry. okay. Oh. Hey, Robert. That's yes, okay. Sir. Okay. Oh, okay. So Go on. Wrong? <laughs> no, no. Okay. Article 41, Section 2. It shall be the duty of each member to render aid and assistance to brother or sister members in case of illness, death, or distress, and in every way acquit him, her or himself as a loyal and devoted member of the International Union. It's section three, it says, it shall be the duty of each member to participate in all local, state, provincial, and federal elections through registration and balloting. Amen. 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 And with amen. that, amen. And with that, we will introduce our international chaplaincy staff, starting with Bill Eady. Okay. Moving on to Jerry Carson. Thank you, Connie. Hello, chaplains. I want to bring you greetings from President Ray Curry, Vice President and Director Chuck Brownie, and the entire International Executive Board. We want to thank you for all you do in your place of work, for the membership, for the leadership, in the community, and with our union, and for your families being a salt and light, meeting people where they are, loving on them. I just want to say what a blessing the chaplains have been to the UAW, to our country, and throughout the world, because no matter where you go, they see the salt and the light. They see Christ in you, and each one has, I, I, I'm encouraged. I know that just like Elder, I believe God, and our theme, it's going to be all right. I believe, I firmly believe. I know we can't see we can't see the spoken word, but it's there. The air we breathe, but it's there. Our thoughts, but they're there. And God never leaves us or forsakes us. We are so blessed to have one another and two or more gathered in his name. He's present with us. I could go on and on. I want to sing the praises of God with our works, what we do, and encouraging others. And it's just beautiful whenever we get blessed to be together. I'm going to turn it back over. But love you, chaplains. 2022 went went by fast, and uh, uh, we're going to have a busy 2023. And a lot of souls are going to be saved in 2023 because of you, chaplains. God is moving. He is moving. Love you, chaplains. Okay. All right. Let me step in and uh, 
First of all, I want to just say thanks to all of you guys. Uh, many are called, but few are chosen. This is a special um, uh, WebEx because it's the last one for the year 2022. So let me just um, fulfill uh, a promise and an assignment. Sister Marcy, uh, bring us out with Article 41, Section 2, please. Thank you so much, Elder Herb. Thank you, thank you. To all of my beloved chaplains, Article 41. Chaplains, we worked in 2022 as our Heavenly Father instructed us to do. We prayed with and for our brothers and sisters. We visited the sick and the shut-in. We mourned with our brothers and sisters in time of their loved ones. Most importantly, we communed with one another, lifting each other up in prayer. I pray our strength and courage as we travel into 2023, ready to lift up the banner of solidarity founded in our constitution, Article 41. Amen to the Father, amen to the Son, amen to the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Well done. Amen. Praise Martin. God. Well, well done. Thank you, Jesus. Um, Amen. Yes, we do thank Jesus. He's the reason still for the season. And we are always in due season. The chaplaincy um, committee is always in do season always and marcy for a minute there i thought i was listening to sister harris you was making it rhyme it just shows it just it shows when you uh study to show yourself approved uh what we can do with god it just says so we thank you well done uh, we started to wrap up the year Wednesday by acknowledging all of the board member members and today uh, I want to acknowledge uh, Sister Connie, the work that she has done, the challenges that she has faced and overcome. overcome. Uh, we would be uh, remiss if we did not say thank you. We love you and give you a space to Thanks. testify to the goodness of the Lord. Go ahead on, Sister Connie. Come on out, Glory, glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'd like to share with you that through this time, I know many of you have heard the poem about uh, foot push in the sand. It became a reality um, throughout this time of uh, that I went through. It was made a reality to me. Uh, the peace that I experienced, the strength that I experienced, I give all the glory to God for it because he was right there with me. He was carrying me. He kept Amen. me. Yes, and I give him all the glory and honor yeah. for all that he has done in my life and is Amen. continuing to do each step along this way on this journey. I give him praise and glory and honor. And I thank each of you for your prayers, your thoughts, and your support. And I'd like to say to you that I love you. God bless you. We love you too, Johnny. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hey, uh, God. I want to. Uh, Acknowledge this anonymous uh, caller. And he says, and thanks for kind words. And thanks for all you do and have done for the chaplaincy program. I was just blessed to be able to help them out a small 
a little bit. But we always need to remember prayers and to pray in our Lord and Savior name, the greatest name in the world, the most holy name of Jesus. Amen. Just wanted to throw that out because uh, we do have people that support us anonymously. Uh, they don't look for anything in return. They just say, hey, well done. And uh, we roll in this morning in a way where I'm going to ask, on, on Friday, we have a very small number. We always do, but they are the faithful ones. And most of you have had an opportunity throughout the year to share on our WebEx. Today, I'm going to ask you to stand down. Because I know there's those that are out just like this individual who choose not to identify themselves. But I know we have people on this WebEx that have never said anything. And I'm going to stop in my track because I can get back to this. But I see our leader, Bill Evie. Bill, let me turn it over to you. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. What a beautiful, beautiful day the Lord has made. He's allowed us to come through 2022 on this chaplaincy conference call. Lord, the Lord is able and he still provides. Uh, chaplains, I want to bring you greetings from President Ray Curry, Vice President Chuck Browning, and the entire International Executive Board. Uh, what a what a privilege. It is for us to uh, assemble once again in 2022. Chaplains, I want to say that I just want to thank you for what you have done over this past year, standing in the gap for us, for truly being who you are. Uh, a shining example for members, both retired and active. I want to say God bless everybody. Uh, I thank God for all of you, and uh, I look forward to uh, hearing uh, uh, new voices as Elder was getting ready to go into before I uh, just uh, graced your presence this morning. God bless everybody. I'm just so happy to be on the call. I'll turn it back over to you, Elder. All right. Thank you, Bill. Uh, happy New Year's to you. And... Uh, you know, you did Happy. such a good, yeah, yes, sir. You, hey, Bill, brother, Bill, you done such a good job Wednesday in uh, pronouncing and announcing and making us aware of what we're gonna, what are we are going to do Monday with Margie Menox. What's going on with Margie Menox, brother Bill? Monday is going to be a glorious celebration. We are going to bring communion in the first uh on, at 7 p.m uh eastern time we're going to have communion to open up the 2023 year the lord is able it's going to be a beautiful beautiful conference call i encourage everybody to participate um there is nothing better than the you know uh, having communion with your brothers and sisters and just opening up the year the right way, you know, celebrating our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ <clears throat> with his body and his blood. Amen. Amen. So prepare, prepare yourself. Um, everybody know what is needed for communion. And we're breaking down the walls of demarcation. We're breaking down that religious spirit. Uh, this, the bread represents the body. And the blood represents the wine. Uh, but I hope don't nobody, I'm going to say something comical here. So for all you deep people, uh, don't, don't call me. Don't text me. Uh, the wine represent the blood, but don't go and try to find no Boone's Farm apple wine. 
Uh, let's keep it pure. What about uh, what about MD twenty twenty? Yeah, <laughs> I I think uh, we got to go now since Brother Jerry is bringing up some option. We better just say any way you <laughs> bless me. Anybody else got one they want to throw out? <laughs> hey, but it's going to be sacred. It's going to be special. And prepare yourself. Get a piece of bread. Get a cracker. Get some grape juice or some wine. Whatever you feel that's going to bless you going into this new year. Because what an opportunity. God has set a standard up for the chaplain. And um, Brother Jerry may know more about what Margie has planted. Brother Carson. Um, uh, Margie is excited. Her and John are going to be with us, and she's going to lead us in communion. It's going to be special. It's going to be spiritual, and everyone that knows Margie and John, they they are just what they've been such a blessing to everywhere they go to and fro. So I'm just, it's going to be a great communion. It's going to be a powerful time, and we're going to take it throughout the country together. Amen. Amen. Okay, um, this year has some highs, it has some lows, but all things work together for the good, for them that are called according to his purpose. And this chaplaincy committee has been called. We have a purpose. And uh, uh, I'm going to uh, check to see uh, uh, I see Sarah Carretas. I'm going to give Sarah an opportunity. Uh, I'm going to give her two minutes. And uh, Connie and I had a good uh, strategy because I, man, I'm sometimes, hey, look, you got two minutes. So when you hear the bell, Connie <laughs> said, Bailey gonna hit the key. When you hear the key, we cutting you off. So it don't take much to say a little. I hope y'all got that. It don't take much to say a little because a little is much when placed in the master. Um, we had a situation uh, the other day where uh, our love, Sarah, was in distress. She was in a need. And for whatever reason, I know the reason God had uh, us uh, conversate with Sarah. And I, I immediately knew that this was something for what we've been doing all year. Sometimes a woman needs a woman to comfort her. And what I did, um, I assigned three angels, Helen Walker, Pastor Helene Walker, Vice Chairperson Connie Bobbitt, and our musical seamstress, uh, Sandra Watkins. The assignment was to call this angel uh, Sarah. And what, what took place, Sarah, very quickly? Help us out. All three women called me. Three is my favorite number. It represents the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. These women called me so fast. You know, it's a nano of a second. God says at the mention of his name, Jesus, he comes to attention. These ladies called and just said, hey, Sarah, what's going on? What can I do for you? We laughed. We talked. We discussed. We prayed. We had revival. We had fun. And it was well. We did a closing song. It is well with my soul. Sandra called and sang to Miss Georgia. And, uh, and all three ladies prayed and sang. And the, the beautiful part about it was we weren't worried, but we were all concerned. And I had just finished my devotional when Elder had called me, and it was on my 
my heart. I just started talking before he even could tell me what he was saying. I was just telling him what was on my heart. But within, within that same day period, within eight hours, everything was handled and restored back to new. And I was just so grateful. And I am so grateful for the chaplaincy committee that that they just came to my rescue, came to my peace of mind, came to my joy, came to my hope. And we prayed and that partner that the Lord gave us, the Holy Spirit, which is embodied in all of the chaplains. And we just had a wonderful time. And the greatest gift of the season is the UAW chaplains. And I wanna say, Free Happy New Year. Thank you, Elder. Thank you to every chaplain on the line, those that couldn't be here, and for my angels, and for the assignment that they were here for, and for the assignment that God sent me on. It is well with my soul. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory. And amen. Amen. To wrap what she said, um, Article 41, Section 2 was administered and fulfilled. The three ladies performed their duty to render aid and assistance. And what the chaplaincy Welbex did, it comforted a young lady, 85 years old, that probably had no idea what UAW means, but she heard a voice. She was experiencing some things, uh, dementia, and sometimes you go in and out. But there is one common denominator in the kingdom. Somewhere the scriptures say, I will sing to the glory of the Lord. And what I was really uh, impressed with was when Sister Sarah says, this woman heard Sandra Watkins' voice reach out and touch somebody's hand. And she was overwhelmed by the amazing grace. How sweet the sound. She identified through all her medical issues what the Lord can do for anybody. Dementia, old timer, whatever they want to call it, have no <laughs> right in the kingdom. Hallelujah. No rights. And, uh, and everything worked out well. It is well with us so. Uh, I want to call on we move and Randall Willis, brother Randall. Yes, sir. Give me two minutes, doing? Randall. We're doing well. God bless you. Uh, this uh, bring you greetings from uh, our director, assistant director, our liaison, um, and uh, I want to say we've had an awesome, awesome year um, this year. Um, Region Four has done things that we have never done before. And uh, we've been uh, really trying to progress and uh, seek God for uh, guidance and um, just trying to grow chaplaincy as a whole. Um, but everything has been great. Um, we uh, had Sister Margie uh, bring the first uh, certification class to uh, Region 4, uh, which had never been done. And uh, we uh, were in our second year of doing a, a really big uh, local, I mean, a region uh, meeting, which went uh, fantastic. And we've gotten, uh, you know, a lot of great insight from that. And, um, but it's a blessing when you have support from your director, and assistant director, and uh, you have support from your liaison. So, uh, you know, that's God that's uh, working uh, through them um, to assist and, and help us to uh, build the kingdom. Um, so our, our, our goal for next year is uh, to grow bigger. I've already been in contact with some locals that do not have a chaplaincy program. Um, and I'm in talks with them and uh, forming 
Um, their chaplaincy, uh, bringing some training to them, uh, their locals. And, uh, so um, it's a lot of work going on behind the scenes. Um, but uh, I have a great team um, that work uh, side by side. Uh, with Brother Daryl Stewart, uh, awesome, a region four assistant uh, coordinator, and um, Sister uh, Kim Collier, who's an awesome secretary. And uh, they're, you know, they they probably get tired of me. I, I don't get tired of them, but. Uh, you know, we, we're constantly uh, in communication and trying to just grow and uh, do what it is that God wants us to do. Um, and with that, um, uh, uh, that completes my report. Uh, great job, Brother Randall. And this is where we are right now. Going forward in the year 2023. We will never have a report without mentioning the first thing we're going to mention. This is a teaching moment for all of us. We like to represent the region. We like to represent the local. We like to put emphasis on the chaplaincy liaison. We love our regional chaplaincy coordinator and the assistant coordinator. But going forward, this is why we're going to have some teaching for the coordinators. Going forward, I would like for all of you guys to put this on your priority list. Wherever you go, wherever you do, Make sure Jerry Carson knows about it. If you have a calendar of event for that year, send it to Jerry Carson because he rubbing elbows with some powerful player in Bill Eady and Chuck Brownie who have the ability to cut through a lot of red tapes. And we have a blessing that was given to her, us. Merry Christmas, everybody, because God gave us a Christmas present, including the way for our leadership of the UAW to see that it was necessary for us to put Jerry Carson 100%. I'm not saying nothing. Maybe Bill Eater can help me here because you got to say that. You got to do that. It's not our region. It's not our local. It belongs to God. And Randall made an awesome report. But we have made some things happen that we got to take advantage of. Help me out, Brother Bill. I just want to say that, uh, you know, it can't be underscored uh, how far chaplaincy has come in the years for which I have been the assistant director over chaplaincy. I have seen chaplaincy grow by leaps and bounds. I have seen the need uh, for a, uh, and, and I, I want to say that chaplains, whether you realize it or not, a lot of you guys spoke it into existence that a position at the International Union that would be dedicated to chaplaincy would become forth. And, you know, I heard I heard it when I first went to Black Lake, people talking about it, but to see it manifest, because I want you to know, when I first became the assistant director over chaplaincy, I was told that Brother Carson could put 10% of his time in the chaplaincy. You know, that, 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 that's something that, you know, I'm sure we got from tithes or something like that. But guess what? God wants our best. Yes. And the Lord made a way for chaplaincy to continue to grow. And yes, Brother Carson had to really dig deep and, 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 and continue to do what he does. He going to give the Lord his best no matter how many hours that is in his day. But the Lord seen, seen a way. He's seen a way. And he knew that chaplaincy in the UAW had a need. 
And so over the years, you know, I told Ch Jerry, whatever it takes when we started working together, whatever it takes, that's what you're going to do. And we'll figure it out. But but the Lord seen a way to carve out a, 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 a UAW international rep to be dedicated to chaplaincy 100% of the time. And, I, and 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 to, to for, for Vice President Browning to make the recommendation and President Curry to say, yes, it is a need. We've seen the reports that come in from the Lewis system. We Jerry has has, has done awesome IEB reports to the, to the IEB because you don't know, guys don't know that you things that you send are being recorded and they being sent up to the highest level. And 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 he he he's he's been faithful in turning in those reports. You've been faithful in submitting those reports, and the IAB seen that there was a need in chaplaincy yes. for us to have a international rep, unprecedented, hasn't ever happened before, one hundred percent dedicated to UAW chaplaincy. God is able. God is able. That's all I can say. And God bless everybody. And I thank you for all that you do. And 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 and, and what you do is being recognized. Just understand that what you do is being recognized and acknowledged. And I just thank the Lord that He put the leadership in place that was able to recognize and 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 grant us <coughs> grant us a full-time chaplain, and he couldn't got a better person, a better representative for us, Brother Jerry Carson. Uh, I mean, I, I, I was just so happy. I didn't know what to do. It was good for Jerry. It was good for chaplaincy. It was good for the UAW. It was just a home run all the way around. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. And I'll turn thank it back over to you. Hey, yes, sir. I, you, you, you know, Bill is so uh, humble and modest. Uh, the beginning, uh, when Bill came in, there was a lot of things that needed to be done. He supported Jerry 100%. And the reason why we're trying to drill this in us because Region 4, under the advice and the suggestion from Bill Eady and Jerry Carson. They saw a need for Region 4 to have a change. And they went to bed before Randall, before Joseph Flesher knew anything about it. Randall was important in our transition because he's a go-getter. And we wanted people in Chaplin that was going to go get it, go find our Joshua. And that's what Randall has done. But it all started with a conversation that I wasn't even privy to. Randall wasn't even aware of. But while I remember my daddy used to say this, Bill, boy, while you in the bed sleeping at night, I'm up thinking how I'm going to keep this family up flow. And that's what Bill and Jerry has done. So now we have to take advantage and we have to rewrite a lot of things. But the only way you're going to know is for us to tell you. So when we meet in Detroit, uh, Jerry Carson going to explain to you his role. Right now, Chaplain, he have on his agenda to drive in his truck to three local unions, 2250, 249, and local 31. This man ain't, ain't spending the union money by flying and trying to get into a five-star hotel. He's driving. And right now we pray for traveling mercy that the ice and the snow will stay where it's supposed to stay up in New York for the time being until Jerry gets ready to go to New York. He's on the road now. 
And what we have to do is help them. See, Bill mentioned, and this is the testimony. He mentioned the Lord's system. I don't know for sure, but I think chaplaincy may be one of the only committee privileged to make report through the Lord's system. Is that how it go, Bill? We have to ask Jerry, Brother Jerry that. He's more familiar with the Lewis system than I am. So, Jerry, is, is chaplaincy the only ones that that, that uh, do committee reports on the Lewis system? Talk to us, Jerry. He's he probably crying. You know, here because no, it's yeah. It's, uh, the chaplains are the only ones that submit reports through the Lewis system in every way, and from. Owen Beaver starting the chaplaincy department in the UAW and then President Ray Curry and Vice President Browning dedicating a, a international rep to chaplaincy full time. It, it, everything that's happened along the way, God has had his hands. Only thing that and one thing that I want everybody to know is one of one of uh one of the people of faith asked for me to meditate and ask others to meditate on Matthew chapter six. And that's what it's all about, the serving God. I don't, and I was talking to my brother-in-law earlier today, if the name Jerry Carson was never spoke, that would be fine. Some people choose and wanna see themselves. I, I have never sought out. All I did was stand up whenever I seen a need from running for office to, and then I come in to uh, the international on January 7th of 2013. And honestly, I will tell you, I don't believe I was wanted, but there's those that God brought me there. And it's always been about a servant. And that's all it is about. I'm just a tool, and I want to tell you, Vice President Browning's top AA, Brandon Keats, says, Jerry, why do you want to drive? Why do you want to do that? I said, that's the best use of the membership's dues dollars. It costs a lot of money for me to fly in and rent a vehicle. I'll take my vehicle. It's a 2013 F-150 with 184000 on it. I'm going to drive, and I'm going to meet with that leadership, and I'm going to be doing the business that we are supposed to be doing, but it ain't, it's just, we give God our best, right? And we give the membership our best. We give the leadership to, to much is given, much is required. And all I am is just the old Detroit kid that God placed. And it's just been him that's been moving. And I know he moved each one of you. We all got testimonies, like I said, MD 2020. That's where God took me from. He took me right out of the pits of hell and put me where I can serve him. And it's him that's doing. And, and whenever Vice President Browning approached President Curry and he said it took him seven seconds to say, yes, we will do this. And it was because of what you have done. And they know what we do is it, 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 so important to our union. And I... You guys have honestly have always had God is whenever the Israelites were being disobedient, they wandered around the desert for 40 years. So chaplains, let's not be disobedient. Let's not be about let's just be about God and taking care of what God has us to be doing is staying focused on that. If they never said Jerry Carson again, it would be fine. It would be fine. I just want to serve. I want us all to make it home when we make it home. Well done and good and faithful servant. That's what the that's what we're staying focused on. And, and hopefully along the way we've touched others and that they have went to Christ and that they have been saved. And I don't, it don't matter what your faith is. I just know one thing. Elder makes sure that he God's ways are way above our ways. His thoughts are way above our thoughts. 
I know I just had a brother that's of the Muslim faith. I believe he's sitting right next to God. I believe he is saved because God's ways are way above him. We know that only through Christ, through the blood, but he wishes for no one to perish. I'll turn it back over to the elder, but I, you guys, I'm just, and, and, and honestly, I'm tired too, but I'm not going to get tired of doing good. I'm not going to get tired of serving God. Everything is for a season. Love you, chaplains. And Bill Eady had been nothing but a blessing to the chaplains. And him and I are, are an elder in each one. We're all cut from the same cloth. We love God. We love God. I'll turn it over to you, elder. All right. Um, it's marvelous in our eyes. <laughs> yes, sir. That's an amen. It's an amen. Hey, you know, um, I I play these Wavex back. Um, I listen to them two or three times because I want to provide the best that I can provide in my uh, position. And Brother Bill last Wednesday, he said something about how an angel, some man who had dementia. It's funny he mentioned that because Sarah was tied into a young lady with dementia. But Bill, what you said, that man came and he prayed in your room and you believed without a shadow of a doubt that was your beginning to your healing. Because you you had the same faith that I had. I had a strength. I had a stroke. And Jerry Carson, I thought I was seeing an angel. The next morning, the first face I saw, he had drove all the way from Detroit. No greater love than that. And I believe, Bill, without a shadow of a doubt, that motivated me to be who I am today. I'm not the same. I don't think the same. I'm not. I believe God, and I see the purpose behind what he's doing. We brought up Randall Willis. He's the chaplaincy coordinator. We love all our region, but we just parked in Region 4. Uh, Jerry, on his journey to drive, all three local are located in Region 4, all three local, Jerry have first contacted that local president. Hey, let us deal with the presidents. Let us deal with them. Let us deal with the directors. Let us deal with them, because Jerry gonna deal with them. We have a chaplaincy liaison that you guys can reach out to after you tell Brother Carson what you're doing. And Region 4 is so important because we got some stuff happening in Region 4. We're not on the same page. But we have to believe Article 41, Section 2, when our members go from one local to the next local. They got to be on this. Man, we, Jerry Carson, Bill, had um, at the time, the vice president spent a lot of money on posters that we wanted all the plant to have because we, we knew we were going to have members go from this plant to this plant, from this state to this state. But what they were going to see with that chaplaincy poster. And when Randall talk about his, his people, he's talking about one of the members on his board that traveling right now, Bill, three, four hours a day on the road going to work because she'd been transferred. The only job opportunity, Brother Bill, was for her to drive two hours one way 
to keep the job. I see how Bill's shaking his head. He's already on that. So when our chaplains move like that, we got to accept the fact that it's a purpose. It may be just for one person. The reason why she's traveling like that, God may have sent her that for one particular person. But Bill is on it. Jerry is on it. We can't do anything against the national contract. But I believe God. I believe God. And let me ask this question right now to everybody on this web. And this is going to be your chance for the roll call. Uh, if you believe God, as we close out this year, can you just say, come off of me and everybody on one accord, just say, I believe God. I believe God. I believe God. I believe God. Yeah, how, I believe yeah, God. how dare you to believe him. Praise the Lord. <laughs> yes, yes. Nobody believes <laughs> Is there anything too hard for God? No. No. No, no, no. Nothing. Nothing is too hard for God. We've been mm. blessed by the best. Uh, him, we still praying for that situation because the weather getting ready to get bad. And Randall, we haven't forgotten about Kim. That's one of the reasons we asked you to come on the call. Uh, we're going to Marshall Local. We're going to my local, Sherry Gillis is the chairperson. And we're going to Daryl Stewart Local. Bill Eady, I think he got a bump bed up at 249. He got something. He always up at 249. <laughs> but uh, he don't mind. And, and Bill is such a giant in the gospel of Jesus Christ. He don't have to tell me he's in Kansas City. I know he's in Kansas City because where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. We doing good, chaplain. If I couldn't have uh, imagined this when I was strung out on drugs, and I had a benefit rep job, high profile. I was on the UAW Convention Appeals Committee. At the time, we had 16 regions. I was the one that represented mine. And they tried to throw me away, Bill, because I was strung out. But they had this one lady who was over benefits. Her name was Ella Mae Schultz. Ella Mae gave me a call. She talked to me like my mama. She said, boy, get your act together. And I don't want to talk about this mess no more. That's all it took. Somebody to say, I'm going to help you. I'm not going to throw you away. She couldn't even imagine today what this person is doing right now because she stood up. Y'all not going to get rid of this benefit rep because he had an appointed position. I did not know at that time that appointed position was the chaplaincy chairperson. I had to get here. I had to get here. I had to leave Michigan and come to Kansas City. It was a journey that all of us are on. We don't know. Bill been on the journey. Jerry Carson been on the journey. Robert Ghostin been on the journey. Marcia has been on the journey. We all have. And we can't tell you enough how much we love you. We can't. And sometime we're going to come firm 
because we have to. We have to. We're going to wrap this conference call up. Uh, um, you, you heard the testimony from Jerry and Bill. And I'm looking for that one person before we close that have never had a chance to say anything on our call. Just that one person, please, if you have ever, if you have never said anything, please, we give you the space right now. Do we have such a one? That means we we are family. We have all had an opportunity. That is good. We're going to enhance this web well X. Uh, we want to see more participation. We're going out in the highways and hedges. Jerry Carson going to hit all the locals that he can because we're going to try to build chaplaincy. My last, before I turn it over to Bill, He'll give it to Jerry, and then we'll give it to Sandy. My last thing I want to say to all of us, start making your reports. Start going back to the Lord system and making your reports. Regardless to what your title is, make your report. Let's give Jerry some ammunition to work with. Let's put some bullets in his gun. Let's make our reports. Amy is an ambassador for us. If you need the link to get back on, that'll be one of the first things we do going into the next year. We're going to have Amy come to the conference and teach the Lord's system. We're not playing anymore. We're not guessing anymore on what we're doing. We're sending the soldiers. We're sending the ones that know. Brother Bill. I just want to say, chaplains, once again, what an honor and a pleasure that 2022 has been. We've been through a lot over the last couple of years. Uh, but 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 we all know the Lord is able. He's brought us through. And I'm just so grateful and so thankful again for all you do for standing in the gap for the UAW. You know, the Lord's ways are not our ways. We know that uh, our steps are predestined. And we are just so grateful and so thankful. And we look forward to uh, seeing all your smiling faces and hearing all your, your, all, all your beautiful voices in 2023 keep on keeping on and we just want to let you know that you are loved we want to let you know that in this time that you are essential and we just so grateful to all of you so grateful to all of you for all that you do and you know uh and i just want to bring again bring those uh i want to bring not only things for myself but i want to bring them from our President Ray Curry, our Vice President Chuck Brownie, and the entire International Executive Board of the UAW to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you do. And we just want you to keep on keeping on. And uh, and everybody have a safe and wonderful New Year's Eve and into the new year. And we look forward to seeing and hearing from all of y'all in twenty. 23. And I'll turn it over to Brother Carson. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Yeah, I just only, I just want to, again, whenever you put your reports in Lewis, and every one of us should be, I, I read each and every one of them. We have over 12,000 reports in Lewis. And I can't tell you how powerful that is because your local president can can look in Lewis and see what's happening with the chaplaincy committee, the good works that are being done. Your regional director, your liaison can look and see what's happening throughout the region. Your, your regional coordinator, who I hope is putting in the reports, also can look and see what's happening throughout the region. And then nationally, Bill Eady, myself, 
President Ray Curry, Vice President Browning, they can all look and see what's happening throughout the country. And it's because of the leadership that we've been allowed to do this. And I just cannot say thank you enough to you chaplains and to our leadership for allowing us to serve. And we give God our best and we take care of the membership. And 2022 has been great works and it's because of what you've been doing in the field, each one of you, active and retired and active retirees. You are a blessing. I see God's light shining throughout our union. I'm gonna turn it over to Elder, but yes, this is our last one for 2022 and it's went by fast. Uh, we've done a lot of good work and 2023, we're gonna hit the ground running. We're gonna make sure that, that, that we reach out to everyone and make sure that, that if they wanna have a chaplaincy, they're going to have chaplaincy, and uh, and it's greatly needed. Love you, chaplains. Thank you for not growing weary of doing the work, because we know we all get tired, but God is the way maker. We serve an awesome God. I'll turn it over to you, Elder. Love you, right. chaplains. All right. Thank you, Brother Carson. Hey, we're going to close with amazing grace, and we're going to have about one minute after this song and uh, we're going to go off the air, but we want you to hang around for a minute. Uh, we got it. We're going to we're going to shut it down at one o'clock Eastern time. But uh, let's fellowship a little bit after the song. Sister Sandra. Amazing grace. sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but was blind but now I I see praise God praise God praise God praise God Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.